All right, folks, here we are, part three of my solo day on the water. I uh, had two great runs out in the bay on some drum, and I decided to come inshore and try some flounder fishing. I'm gonna jig some ledges and stuff through here inside of Linhaven and see if anything is in here yet or not. I really don't know, but I'm just gonna give it a try. So, we'll see. I decided to finish the day inside the inlet here. Just doing a little jigging. Kind of early for in here, honestly, I think, but it don't hurt to try. I'm sure there's still some trout around, but I'm trying for flounder. Got a weird little back current going on right here. Sea robin. Huh. Seen one of them in a long time. Well, when they're around, it usually means flying there are too. Oh wow. I'm gonna look in there. I haven't lost it yet. I didn't take too long. <laughs> A snag. Open your mouth, man. I'm gonna go back. Dang. That's a 19 inch flounder, y'all. What's wrong with that? Heck yeah. Huh. Well, that's awesome. Like I said, sea robin is around, it means flounder usually are too. Alrighty. I'm using my motor here to match the current, kind of. The wind's blowing me that way, but the current's going that way, so. Try to keep it vertical, of course. Just a spro bucktail on here. Gold. Typical. To the bottom, give it a crank, jiggy jiggy. This reel here is done. I got the drag all the way down as tight as it'll go, and I can still just pull it right out. I think she's gonna go in the trash. I can't complain, I've had it for five years now, so it has caught a lot of fish. Need to speed up the drift. Jig is leaving me. So I'm having to thumb it for a hook set. There we go. That feels like another flounder. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ouch. 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 Dang right. <laughs> oh, you're trying to hook me. Stop. See, I still know how to catch flounder. I'm gonna run that. Yeah, 20. Thank you, buddy. Number two. Yeah, well, I'm glad I decided to do this. Been so busy sheep's head fishing for the past few years i forgot about flounder that's actually what got me introduced to saltwater fishing was flounder 
too loud in there. Howdy. I'm pretty good. How are you today? Yes, sir. I would imagine there would be some flounder by these islands here. Snags, that's for sure. I felt that. I don't think I've ever caught flounder in here this early. I mean, we're still middle of May. This whole season actually seems to be kicking off earlier than normal. It has been a heck of a day overall, y'all. Like I said, this is my third little video today on the days that I have off from chartering. I try to get as many videos done as I can. And today was a good day, even though the conditions out in the bay weren't all that great. It was definitely fun. I'll tell you what, I do miss fishing out of my kayak up in these inlets and stuff. Just something about being that close to the water. It's a real personal experience. I would have done it today, but like I said, I had a charter this morning that I actually took the folks out and the forecast kind of lied to us. It was a little too rough. Otherwise, I'd be in my kayak right now. All right, y'all, this is probably gonna be my last little drift or whatever you call this here. The current is dead still right now, so I don't think I'm gonna catch anything. Well, y'all, that's it, I'm done, I'm headed in. I had a heck of a day overall. Thanks for joining me for this video, the little flounder fishing fun here at the end. I'm gonna get this thing loaded up, get home, get some dinner, hang out with family, and uh, be thankful for this awesome day on the water. Peace out. I'll see y'all soon.